I heard y'all were looking for me. All right, welcome back. Random TV Review, it's your girl Lynette. I'm sorry I'm late, but it's the holiday weekend. We had company over last night, and from what I understand, <laughs> I shouldn't have cut my night short, and I'm glad I didn't. This is the episode of the pop-up shops. So while we are talking about business and making some money, let me pay some bills right here. All right, now that I paid some bills, um, hopefully you all will take advantage of the coupon code Lego. Chatterful behavior. Aiden says, look at here, uh, mama, why, why are we doing this um, pop-up shop? He was like, baby, there's people that were sick by the water crisis and we need to give them some money. He said, so they sick and we need to give them money? Aiden was like, I don't really understand the concept, but if they sick and they need some money, maybe they need to go to the doctor. He was like, hey, I usually charge $5.99 for my cookies, but since it's for charity, I'll sell them for $6.99. Aiden, you play too much. So Michelle, who is Sheree's interior designer, he decided to send Marlo over to meet um, Sheree as she was picking out wall covers. I said, child, if you don't go to Lowe's and get you some paint and stop acting like you got champagne money on beer dollars you you we can't do this with you Sheree. marlo comes over and said i thought me and kenya was friends but kenya didn't even invite me to a birthday party after i gave her the suggestions of how to do the thing then i realized i ain't even been invited to the housewoman is the house nice Sheree said no it ain't nice at all marlo said well maybe i'll send her a plumber as a housewoman gift <laughs> Kenya comes home to an O.J. Simpson crime scene, y'all. Um, Matt don't busted out the windows out of her garage, the back of the range, and on the side door. It looked like there was blood splatter on the on the windows. I was like, he took the time and spray painted over top of her security cams. Matt has been watching too many how to get away with murder type of movies. I'm gonna need Kenya to realize this ain't the relationship for her. But instead of Kenya calling the police like a normal person would do, she calls Candy. And I said, like, you all right, girl? She said, girl, I done came home, all my stuff is busted out. I don't know what to do. I wanna be with this man. Candy said, hey, I don't mean no harm. You down there in the woods by yourself. I got enough space over here at my house. Come on over and just spend a couple of days with me. You know, I got a gate. So, hey, we ain't gonna have to worry about none of that over here. I got a gate to keep Mama Joyce in, and I got a gate that whenever she get on my nerves to keep her out. So we see Cynthia. Cynthia is um, packing up to move into her home. Well, we think she is. What had happened was Cynthia got an appraisal for like 900,000 the first time when she made the bid on the property, but coming to find out the second appraisal was like for 600,000. So. Her bid was somewhere in between six and nine. And they said, hey, we not gonna find that something that ain't worth the money that you paying for. So now they're waiting for this third appraisal to come through. But she got to get out of the house because, hey, it sold in like three, four days. So we'll talk about some, hey, can I take this whole wall with me? She was like, what? Noel been watching too much of Donald Trump. This whole wall thing, is then grafted in her brain. Now she thinks that everybody can just do walls. Walls. And while she talking about walls, her mom is hollering about balls. I need these balls. Where the balls? Where the container of balls? What are we talking about here? So we see Kenya. Kenya shows up over there at Phaedra's law office because Kenya was like, hey, I got a crazy one. She don't have a crazy one. They both got violent tendencies. I need to talk to somebody that don't been through what I don't been through. But this is what got on my nerve. Phaedra said, hey, me and Apollo tried counseling. It didn't work. Maybe you and Matt can do um, counseling. Try some counseling and let's try some Jesus. Let me pray for you. Amen. Somebody tell this girl, lead this man. So we see Kenya ended up going over to um, Candy's house. Now, you know Candy, she lives on an estate. Kenya said, hey, where's my bedroom at? Like, um, I didn't know you was really gonna take me up on that offer, but I put my foot in my mouth. So hey, 
yeah, I got a room for you. I left the light on for you. It is what it is. You see, we know we here not knock at the door. It's Cynthia. Kate was like, oh, I invited Cynthia over. Both of us are kind of homeless at the moment. See, this is what happens. This is what we do, black folk. We are guests in somebody else's house. How is we invite more guests over to stay at the guest house? So Cynthia come over, she said, hey, while I'm here, you might as well fix me a drink. Don't bring out that old house looker. Break out the premium looker for me. I'm going through some things. Now we're talking about this pop-up shop. Shop. Kendra came up with a great idea of doing a 50-50 net split of the profits. And the profits will go to her, her charitable organization. Well, the girls thought that that was a little steep. Now I understand for certain products, that is steep. For someone like Portia that sells virgin hair, and I know that business, that is a lot to split 50% of your profits with someone. But it's charity. It is what it is. Everybody else ain't quite seemed to get that memo when they first agreed to this. But everybody took it in stride. They was like, whatever. They asked Portia, did you understand what I just said? Portia said, wait a minute. I know how to do this. I'm a businesswoman. I know the difference between net and gross because when I get net, I spend all of that on me. That ain't what she said, but that's how she said it. And I like Portia's hair like that. I really do. But I was trying to figure out why did she take all her hair out when she get ready to sell hair? Had to be a walking billboard walking billboard. Finally at this pop-up shop, Kenya has her set up and it's all in white. And that stupid Porsche talking about something. Uh, she better bask in the white because that's as close as she gonna get to heaven. Porsche, her stuff over there falling all down or whatever. At the end, all of it came together. We saw um, Apollo's parents come um, up in there and they, you know, gave their support to Phaedra, whatever. For what we understand, Phaedra said that they have a really great relationship um, even after the divorce and all of this has been going on. So I thought that was real cute. Aiden got to spend a little time with his grandparents. Um, but then we seen Marlo. She came up in there and that's when it all went to hell. Marlo decided that, hey, I'm gonna go over there and help Sheree not sell t shirts. And you actually ended up approaching Marlo. Marlo was like, I thought we were friends. You know, you didn't invite me to this. You didn't invite me to that. Kenya said, no, 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 it wasn't like that. I just had a whole lot of stuff going on and it kind of just slipped my mind that I didn't invite you. I was like, that's BS. That's BS. In the words of S. Hutchinson and um, James Caldwell, she backpedaling and pussy popping. That's what she doing. But at the end of the day, they had a really successful pop-up shop. They raised, um, it's like a little shy of 7,000 or $8,000. Candy said that her, um, one of her partners brought $5,000 worth of product. She really don't know the numbers of what she sold, but 50% is $2,500 and I'm just gonna give you that on good faith. Um, Portia decided she was gonna give her 100% of her proceeds and plus $1,000. I thought that was cool. Sheree gave a little $595, which was her 50%. Cynthia gave $1,000. We don't know what can you get because I didn't see that part. And Aiden said, where the hell my money at? It sounded good before I saw all the money that was being made. Now that I see my money being made, I don't want to get easy to these kids. I, I, I want my money back. Overall, good filler episode. Um, I don't even know where this show is going at this point. It needs a really, really, really good shake up. Um, we all know last week we believed that um, Cynthia went home with Peter. She ain't fooling nobody. Can you please leave Matt for real? I don't know what's going on in real life, fake life. Just leave the dude alone. Panda, don't let them stay at your house too goddamn long because they'll move everything in. Pedro, I don't know. Sheree, go to Lowe's, get some paint. Don't be covering your goddamn wall and all that stuff that these bougie people trying to tell you to spend your money on because you will have to move Bob in. I'm just saying, y'all just going to have to move him in just so he can sweat and pay half of these goddamn bills. Great from the VA, the dirty, dirty South. Sue up, sue down. Hello.